We're destroying some trees here because we don't want them. They're, uh, they're stragglers and they're junk. And we're going to replant this area today. The brush hog is going around and it's going to brush hog these rows. And what we're going to do is we're going to replant and we're going to call, this is an experiment, we've never done this before. What we're going to do is we're going to use a ditch witch to dig the hole. I'll show them the ditch witch here. This is our ditch witch. And we're going to use that to dig a trench to put the trees in. And the trench is going to go down about eight inches. And then what we'll do is we'll follow along with little liners and plant right in the ditch and then cover it over. This is our ditch witch in action. It's making the hole. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and just plop our plants right in it and seal it over with uh, an iron rake. Now it's done a real nice job. It pulls these roots right out of the way. These are the roots from the old trees. These are the green giant liners we're going to be placing into the holes. And as you can see, we have a nice little straight line going, and we have the green giant liners. And then each one's raked in by itself and set to the proper depth. These are our Nelly Stevens hollies that we have available in Dr. King. This is what this is. This is 101 right here. We have them tagged out for you. That one's 102. This one's 103. We have 104, 105, 106. 107, 108, 109, this is 110, and 111. And we have quite a few other hollies here that we didn't tag with numbers, but we have hundreds. This is another group of 8 to 10 foot hollies that we have at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313. And over here we have some more hollies. This is another group of hollies we have here at Highland Hill Farm. We probably have at any one time at least a hundred hollies ready for you to come and select from or if you want us to pick out ones we will. We sell them four to five foot, five to six, seven to eight, eight to nine, ten to eleven and we can dig some twelve to fourteen foot. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are small emerald green arborvitas. They're about 30 to 36 inches high. These are used in Risers check ever show up? These are red rocket columnar maples. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are a fairly narrow maple available. These are about a two inch caliper tree right here. Give us a call. Thank you. In urban areas where you want to create a privacy wall or a, a barrier to block out a neighbor, 
These are fairly fast growing to 10 to 15 feet, a nice luscious green color. In, in, in suburban areas, this may not be the right choice for you because first, it may not be a big enough growing arborvita, and second, it is susceptible to deer damage. But in the urban situation, you're not going to have the deer unless you're, you know, say like in Princeton, New Jersey, where there's a lot of deer right in town, or Valley Forge, PA, where there's a lot of deer in town. But uh, for most, most parts, this would be a great choice in New York City areas, Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, if you have a small garden, but it needs to have plenty of sunlight. It can't be a shaded garden. Now obviously you would not take these. This is a western red cedar. These are very fast growing. These would be for a suburban area and or the green, uh, the uh, Leland cypresses here. They also grow too fast and too big for in the urban areas. This is a block of green giant arborvitas, more green giants at the top of this next field, field with Niagara's in the base and some more Niagara's and green giants over in there and more green giants all the way up through there. Give us a call, 215-651-8. These are small.